Good day, everyone. Let's discuss about something that can get a little tricky. Things to avoid saying to women. We all want to be respectful and avoid causing any awkwardness, right? So, let's explore six common questions or comments that might be best left unsaid. Imagine you're meeting someone new, and they blurt out your weight or ask if you're seeing someone. It would probably feel strange, right? That's because these questions focus on things that aren't really the foundation of getting to know someone. They can also be sensitive topics. Now, let's talk about the off-limits list. So here are six categories of questions to generally avoid saying to women. Number one, her appearance. Don't say, why wow, you've lost weight, or have you ever considered a cosmetic change? Number two, her age. Don't say, how old are you? especially on a first meeting. Number three, her relationship status. Don't say, are you seeing anyone, or why are you still single? Number four, body comments. Don't say, you don't look like you eat much, or nice curves. These can be unwelcomed or objectifying. Number five, backhanded compliments. Don't say you're so pretty, but stop wearing blue jeans. Number six, her career choices. Never say, don't you want to stay at home with the kids? Or isn't that a bit too much for a woman? Before we move on, if you are new here, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to this channel, and press the bell button. Thanks for doing so. Now, why are these six categories of questions bad? Let's break it down for each category. The first category, appearance. Comments on weight or looks can be hurtful, especially if someone is insecure. It's better to focus on personality or something you genuinely like about their outfit. The second category, age. Age is a personal detail and asking it up front can feel intrusive. There's plenty of time to get to know someone without making age a focus. The third category, relationship status. This can be a sensitive topic, and unless you're close friends, it's best to avoid bringing it up. Let the conversation flow naturally. The fourth category, body comments. These can make someone feel uncomfortable or objectified. Focus on their skills, interests, or something they've accomplished. The fifth category, backhanded compliments. These might sound nice at first, but they actually put someone down. A compliment should be straightforward and genuine. The sixth category, career choices. Women face stereotypes about what jobs they should have. It's best to be supportive and celebrate their career goals. So what can you say instead? Number one, focus on getting to know them. Ask about their hobbies, interests, or what they're passionate about. Number two, make genuine compliments. Notice something you like about their outfit, a skill they mention, or their positive energy. Number three, be respectful, listen attentively, and avoid interrupting. Number four, keep it light and fun. Share funny stories, ask engaging questions, and create a positive atmosphere. Remember, every woman is different, and what one person finds offensive, another might not. The key is to be respectful and avoid comments that could be hurtful or stereotypical. Now, what are some other things you've heard that might be best left unsaid? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We can all learn from each other and strive for better communication. Mind you, if you're ever unsure whether a question is appropriate, it's always better to err on the side of caution and avoid asking it. If you found these insights helpful, 
Remember to hit the subscribe button and share this video with someone who might also benefit from these timeless teachings. Together let's continue to explore, learn, and grow fostering a life that not only seeks personal peace, but also contributes to the greater life ahead of us. Thanks for watching.